on YouTube welcome back so today I've come out on Coniston Lake and uh, I had the hope of getting a camp on the island I thought with it being a weekday that it would be quiet and that unfortunately is not the case because the sun's out everybody's out so I knocked about for a bit waiting for it to quiet down and uh, I just started to load the canoe up <laughs> and I seen two people heading over on paddle boards and they were like they had all the camping gear with them so unfortunately I think I might have missed my opportunity but I'm going to head over and see whether I can actually get on the island and uh, take it from there but if I can't we'll find somewhere to pitch so tonight I am hot tent camping I've got the Pommelie Chalet 70 which is my new favourite hot tent. Um, I've bought the stove this time, so we'll have a fire inside. I've brought all my own wood and a bag of kindling, and I'm gonna be cooking some pretty epic looking pizzas, hopefully. We'll see how they turn out, but I've got a, a pretty ingenious way of cooking them, so stick around and see how they turn out, fingers crossed. So we've got all the gear hauled up and uh, chucked it underneath the canoe there so it's obviously out of the road, pitch up late and all that but there is tons of people here, like there must be about 10 people so it feels super dodgy at the minute, it's an absolute mission getting all of that gear back down in the water down there so I've kind of dumped it there to get like a flattish pitch just feels super dodgy god damn Schoolboy error didn't bring anything to uh, boil water on, so I've had to improvise. Does the trick though. It's getting on a bit now, so nearly six o'clock, so I'm going to get this uh, tent set up. Everybody who's not staying seems to have buggered off now, so uh, should be all right. <coughs> but yeah. I'll get the tent set up and uh, then I'll get this fire going and get some scram made because I'm starving. Choppy out there. So my younger brother's just been to see me. So that got the night in a fair bit. Um, now eight o'clock so I'm gonna get this fire going and get some scram made and uh, yeah I'm absolutely starving
I'm a bit tipsy now, so I'm struggling to cook. <laughs> have to see how this pizza turns out, but uh, it looked fairly good that, to be fair, as it was going in. So there's quite a bit of heat underneath the fire. There's a cast iron skillet. Um, I've heated it up on top of the fire, and then uh, basically made the pizza up. Put some olive oil in the pan and dropped the pizza in. Kept it on the top for a couple of minutes just to heat the base through. It's a pre-cooked base. And uh, yeah, so I've dropped it underneath the fire now to cook the top of the pizza. And with the heat in the pan, because it's cast iron, it uh, it should should work fairly well to be fair. So smells absolutely class. <laughs> Tidy. Look at that. Looks like an actual pizza. Ten out of ten. <laughs> the next level camp in this. Rito, so I'm just gonna have a couple of drinks now and uh, get me napper down I reckon. So pizza's worked dead well. I'm uh, dead pleased with how they come out so um, there's a couple more pizza bases left. I don't know whether to make like a breakfast pizza tomorrow or just have it as like toast or bread with uh, whatever I bought with me. I'll have to stay tuned see what, what I uh, end up cooking. So I'm going to get this fire stoked up and just chill out for a little bit and uh, watch some, probably watch some more YouTube. So unless how crazy happens, I'll bring you back in morning. ta -da. temperature inversion so it's uh, a bit foggy out on the lake very moody though looks awesome just got my brew on and I'm gonna get this brekkie going
I'm going to have to let that cool down before I tackle that. Wish me luck. <sighs> Let's see what this is like. In my head it looked a lot better. Bon apple tea. That's not bad. Mozzarella on a breakfast is a bit weird, but apart from that, it's doable. Might need another brew though. There's one thing to note about cooking these uh, pizzas in the cast iron pan is uh, there's absolutely minimum cleanup required. So that that's the pan after using it so if I was to have cooked the spam and beans and that in the pan I'd have had to clean it in between and it would have been a bit, a bit of a pain in the backside but that's miles easier so worth bearing in mind not such a daft idea after all <laughs> That's me packed up now. Leave no trace and all that. So, take nothing but photos, leave nothing but footprints. Canoe's loaded up. Let's hope we don't have an unintentional swim. What an absolutely stunning day. It's like a mill pond. I didn't ask them to do that. So you might have noticed I was being a bit quiet in this video. Um, I can't remember if I said it or not. If I did, apologies. But when I got to the island, there was uh, three or four lads um, setting up hammocks. And I was a bit sort of nervous of camping there. Not because of like I was scared of the lads. I just couldn't be asked with the uh, if they were going to be dickheads being noisy or whatever. But, they came over and had the crack and uh, turned out to be pretty sound to be fair and I didn't hear anything of them all night so can't ask for more than that but yeah enjoyed that it was a good crack managed to get packed up and the canoe loads up it's quarter past eight now so got it sorted in pretty good time So this week's shout out, um, 
I have actually mentioned him a couple of times in uh, previous videos, but uh, it's Butchie Boy's Adventures. Um, <laughs> he's putting a video out consistently every week, and it's just a laugh a minute with the guy. So if you uh, fancy heading over to his channel and giving him a sub, that would be class. And uh, Butchie, keep up the good work, mate. And looking forward to getting out with you at some point. I'd just like to thank all my subscribers. It uh, means the world for you is coming back and watching every week, so thank you very much. Um, not sure where the next camp's going to be, or what it's going to be, but I'm thinking of pushing out into the hills. So if you enjoyed this video, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next one. Ta-da!